This is a video to help people assemble the batteries in an SYBT5 battery pack. It's a 120 volt system uh, fused here and with a manual isolation here so people can isolate them when they're taking them in and out of a UPS and you can meter across these terminals to check the voltage when you're finished make sure everything's okay. And I've got to do this holding a camera so I've assembled one and I'm going to disassemble it so people can see how the wiring works. Um, essentially starts at this end with a positive. The um, question is can I get that out? Let's see. Okay, hopefully. So there are two sets of red wires. You can think of it in two blocks of four and a single block of two. There's a red wire for each block of four and then the yellow wires connect to the next block. And there are horseshoe connectors all the way down that connect these two terminals, these two terminals, these two terminals, and the two terminals at the back and the two terminals at the front. So horseshoe connectors, we have one, two, three, four, five. Yellow wires, we have just two. And red wires, we have two. And at this end, this white wire actually goes to the isolator. So I'm gonna start taking this apart in the wired angles. There's more chance of you seeing things. Um, I'll take that cell out, put off the first red and the horseshoe. I'm just going to place that to one side. So you can see the horseshoe connector now. I'm going to disconnect that. Leave it there. And this is the positive that goes to the power pole connectors that are at the rear. So that's like you can think of that as one of your start points. Um, now I've got a bit more room, so it should get easier. So I have this red, I'm going to follow it round to this end point, which is on here. And we have the horseshoe. And the yellow wire. Now one of these has a loop in. Um, it doesn't really matter which you use where. But it helps if you use the one with the loop in this location because when you're putting it all together I normally assemble this block and then this block then this block and you finish off with that one and this lets you have this pair of cells over here because you have some slack so I'd use the one with a, a curl here big tail maybe right there I'm gonna go through the horseshoe to this end. So those two blocks were basically the same and we can see we've got the red finishes off here, horseshoe, easy peasy and then we're going from black over to red. So we have a negative terminal going through a yellow wire, the one without the pigtail, into a positive horseshoe and then the last last part is for it to come back to the main board. So it ends up at this negative, it doesn't go directly back, it wires out to an isolation switch and then through this wire it goes back to the main board at the back. Um, you can check the fuse for continuity. There is an EEPROM here, we'll talk about that in another video maybe. And then you can meter on the pins at the back to check that you've got everything right. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world to see, but I hope that that helps people to assemble this battery pack.